Now, this was a Mac, admittedly, that I had to go and do a little research on. I don't have it in my Mac collection. Hence, it's not up there on the splash screen. And I usually pride myself on knowing most of my Battletech stuff. But this is a Mac that I had to read up on. I didn't know exist. Um, I was talking with a friend. We were talking about some lore with the great houses and how kind of Battletech technology has changed, how it's advanced from the Star League and kind of how some earlier mechs were just retired, taken completely off production and how even during the various wars when everything had to be pressed into service, given the chance to maybe uh, reactivate some of these factories, it was better just to leave them offline, scrap them and, and put them towards more productive battle mechs. We're looking at the Gladiator. The Gladiator. Now, in the narrative, um, it wasn't a primitive battle mech. It wasn't like the, the primitive Shadowhawk and some of the other primitive tech, but it was, um, it was kind of a first-line battle mech that was quickly replaced. However, in-game canon, and it's kind of a, an interesting-looking machine, it kind of reminds me of some of the, the old uh, Warhammer 40K epic scale, kind of the, the Titans with the, um, the peaks and the various angles to them. It, it, it kind of looks like that. But on paper, we're not playing with quirks or primitive tech. We're just, just looking at the tech manual. It's not a bad medium mech. It's maybe a little higher in battle value than you'd like to pay, but that, that battle value at least comes with some good stuff. And I'm, I'm looking at this and saying, packaged in another mech profile, or if I was going to design a medium mech, this, this has got some bite. So let's check it out. Let's talk about, think about, tactica it out. How would we utilize this? Jumping in. Medium mech, armament, PPC, short range missile six, two medium lasers. So right away, I've got two range brackets. I've got one long range with the PPC. It's going to be pushing that heat, but I don't have to worry about ammo. And then when we get to medium or point blank range, I've got the short range missile six pack, which has got some bite. You know, two pack is for light mechs and just putting some stuff out there, maybe some different ammo. Four pack's got a little punch. Six pack has got some really good punch, especially when you pair it with two medium lasers. You've got potentially three guaranteed hits or more with that spread, and you've got that redundancy. Redundancy in Battletech for the new mech warriors out there is when I'm trying to hit you, you're trying to run and gun and keep moving and all that type of stuff. So if I can hit you with two of the same weapons or two weapons in the same range bracket, an example would be if I've got a Warhammer and I'm firing two PPCs, that's some redundancy. I'm trying to hit you with two things. Um, it could be something like the Griffin, medium mech, which has a long-range missile 10-pack stock and a PPC. Different weapons, same range profile. Ideally, I like redundancy, but we're looking at a medium mech. I've got to get armor. I've got to get mobility. I've got to get other weapon systems into the game. So that PPC, that's solid, right? That's, that's solid. It's got the heat, but it's got range. It's got hit. That's going to drive off light mechs. That's going to soften up medium mechs. It's going to add a little bit of punch if it's paired up with another machine in the lance to go up against more hardened or heavier targets. Then when we close, I've got the six pack. And I've got the medium lasers. That's, that's solid. Add in the jump jets. You've got some mobility. Um, I could see this machine as a sniper. If I can get it into some cover, I can get a good profile and just blast away with that PPC. If I have to close in for um, short range work, it's got a great, great profile for that. I see this mech as a medium mech being part of a close-in working lance. Um, we just talked about the commando. I pushed that up. If I pair this with a commando, if I pair it with a victor and the other mech in the lance, your kind of choice, where on the way in, we'll follow the PPC. We'll fire some other type of weapons. But then when we close with that victor, the auto cannon 20, the medium lasers, I close in with the six-pack, four-pack medium laser on the commando. I close in with the Gladiator, the short-range missile, the medium lasers. That's, that's some impressive, really, really close-in firepower. So going back to the narrative, that's the great thing about Battletech. There is always new stuff to discover, new stuff to explore, and new stuff to play with. Um, looking at this in the narrative, if I could start producing this machine, even if I had to downgrade some components to a primitive level, 
it's, in my opinion, a solid media mech. It's got some firepower. It's got some bite. It's got okay mobility, okay armor. Again, slightly higher battle value, but for what you're buying in with the PPC and the weapons, it's not exactly outrageous from that perspective. Now, what other mechs, my fellow mech warriors, mech enthusiasts, mech commanders, what other kind of obscure mechs are out there in the narrative that for whatever reason were only very briefly manufactured or they were retired or the factory was destroyed or it was a prototype type mech? What other machines are we missing? 